Good day guys and welcome back. Today we're looking at button cards and how you can create a mobile dashboard as you can see here. So let's crack into it. Alright, so step one, we need to ensure we've got hacks installed and we're going to go down and install the button card. So I just type button in the search and it should be the first one. This is the button card and this is the official documentation what you can pretty much put in the code so have a read and follow me for how i set up my dashboard next let's set up our dashboard let's go to settings dashboards and add a new dashboard we're going to create a new dashboard from scratch we're going to give it a meaningful title and let's click create let's go to the new dashboard we created click on the edit button let's click on the add cards and the first card we will be doing is a grid within the green card grid sorry we're going to do two columns but you can do as many or as little as you want depending on your resolution and or needs of the dashboard next we're going to search the card for button and ensure you've got the custom button card and click on save this is us setting up the dashboard itself and next we'll go into the coding all right, so moving on to the front stuff, let's click on edit. And in the GitHub below, we're gonna paste my whole default code, which will show us this. Going to the top, let's give it a name. And let's see what we got. So background color, is this portion here if we get rid of this and type in black this is what we're changing the border radius if we get rid of the three we'll make it a square if we make it nine we'll make it almost a circle the padding get rid of the one we move everything to the edges and we can pretty much bring it in all the way to the middle border is transparent and this is the shadow for the border if we make it a dot nine we can make it a darker bottle darker border not model or subtle moving down this is why we are defining the name so the name itself is bold the font size the um, horizontal and vertical positioning as well as the padding from left and top the padding for the bottom and the spacing so spacing by putting the negative I'm making it smaller than default going down the grid you can leave the grid as default and it is set up for three different entities any more than three you will need to redo the whole um, coding going down we've got logos most of it can be disregarded as you're not going to change it the only thing you will change is this directory local images is your www folder and what we're going to be doing is pasting in an image from that folder so in my scenario local images level 2 dining 
as this photo. And to verify it, we'll go to Studio Code Server. Local Images Level 2 Dining. Okay, back to Edit. Yes, we are showing the entity picture. Background is transparent as with an image. No border. The icons. And this is the first button. The I1, which is up here. It is a another custom button card. And here we are going to change what this connects to. Switch dot dining lights. The name is turned off, but if you type in true, you can see it. Aspect ratio is one of one. And here's the tap action. When you click on this button here, I am calling a service. The service is the switch or toggle. Data has been included by default, and I am targeting the dining light switch. And here I am verifying two states. I've got the on state and the off state. When this state is on, I'll be using a different icon to when it is off. If we go to this website here, the material design icons, we can get any icon we want. So for example, an alarm light, go to Home Assistant, and this is where you copy. Going back to the demo, this is currently turned off. If we paste it here, this icon will show every, every, whenever it's turned off. And going down, we've got the styling. The background color of this one here. The border radius, making a circle. Border style, none. And a shadow, same as before. And we are manipulating the icon itself in here making it height 30, sorry, width 30, height 30, black, alignment, padding, and the image cell. Pretty much all of this means it's always gonna be in the middle. And click on save. So testing it out, if we click on this light, we turn on the dining room and we can turn it off. Next, let's um, configure it to add a second button. All right, so let's click on edit. Let's scroll down. Let's copy everything from line 49 all the way to the bottom, copy enter and go to the beginning and click on paste you'll get an error stating point says it's a duplicate so what we'll do is change this to number two and why number two if we go up in the grid section we'll specify i can have up to three cards and it will know where to position them click on save and here we can see we've got two additional button cards so that is the button cards demo for a mobile dashboard that I'm using thank you for joining and we'll see you in the next video let me know what you're working on stay safe